Hello students, welcome to IAS by heart, prelims IAS. So in this video, we are going to discuss the fourth set of economic questions and answers. Uh, let me see the questions one by one. So which of the following is not a feature of hard currency? See hard currency, which is nothing but the currency which is very familiar and willing to purchase all the countries for their own interest okay so in economy there are different set of currencies like hard currency soft currencies hard currencies um, so these are all the some of the different set of currencies in india in, in across the world okay anyhow so they are asking about not the future of hard currency first we find out the features of hard currency then we can easily eliminate it so it is widely accepted around the world yes it is a one of the future of hard currency high liquid in the foreign exchange market yes it is also a correct statement part of the imf sdr basket see first of all we may know about what is sdr special drawing rights it may be called as paper gold okay or it may be called as imf currency okay sdr is nothing but a paper gold or imf currency and third thing is sdr is the uh, combination of five international currencies okay so the sdr basket consists of five currencies one is the us dollar pound sterling japanese yen and then euro and recently in 2016 the one more currency to be added that is china yuan chinese yuan okay so these five currencies under the basket of sdr okay so if a currency actually these five currencies may be called as hard currency but uh, the hard currency may not be part of uh, may not be part of sdr basket okay maybe if uh, if the currency may present or it may be not present okay so part of imf uh, sdr basket is not necessary the condition for to become a uh, criteria for the hard currencies so for this question the answer is one and two is the correct answer for hard currency but they are asking not not the features so based on the above conclusion so answer is c okay 31 answer c so third statement is a uh, not necessary for to become a hard currency let me see some of the uh, facts regarding that so answer c hard currency is a currency widely accepted around the globe and the payment for goods and services so a hard currency is expected to remain relatively stable this is important relatively stable for a short period of time and to a high liquid in the foreign exchange and the foreign exchange market okay so final thing is it is not essential that all hard currency are part of imf sdr basket right so anyhow let's go to the next question which among the following is are matched correctly so world development report see actually in upsc prelims examination every year they may be asking about uh, uh, report uh, under leasing organization world development report sir world development so report may be by world bank right so development all those things is the most concerns of the world bank right so world development report which is released by the world bank that is especially ibr the international bank for reconstruction and development and the global financial stability report released by imf is a correct statement and one more thing global financial stability report released by imf what about financial stability report released by rbi please note it so financial stability report released by rbi global financial stability report released by imf okay and third thing uh, world investment report which is released by united nation conference on trade and development so first and third statement will be a old term. and fourth uh, point is global competitiveness competitiveness report which is released by world economic forum so correctly matched is uh, two and four only correctly matched so answer is 32 c world development report ibrd world bank global financial stability report imf world investment report conference on trade and development economic uh, forum right and third uh, 33rd question which of the following ways used to express the expenditure by the government towards the education actually recent days uh, the education spendings to the government is increases comparing to the 2019-20 
India spending around 94,300 crores. Okay, 300 crores. But in budget 2020-2021, it maybe increases around 4,500 crores. I think uh, 99,800 crores. Okay. So, so out of the total spending, uh, the India's uh, contribution to the, uh, sorry, uh, the GDP percentage of the education spending is around 4.2 percentage only. But the economist thinks that uh, it, the government may increase to 6 percentage. Anyhow, so the, the spendings of the 2020-21 as a percentage level, the percentage of GDP level is 4.2 percentage only. Okay. So, in 4.2 percentage, the efficiency of spending to the education is around 91 percentage, which means out of 100 rupees, 91 rupees will be spending effectively, effectively for promotion of education. Remaining 9 percentage only, we wasted the fund, right? So, anyhow, as a percentage of total in, uh, total government expenditure, percentage wise may, may be calculated and percentage of uh, GDP, yes, both are correct statement, okay? So, answer is C. The expenditure of the government towards education expressed in two ways. One is total government expenditure and GDP level. Okay, GDP percentage. Okay, so this is the answer. Then go to the next uh, 34th question. Consider the following statements regarding RBI. So, Reserve Bank of India. Reserve Bank of India was created in the year of 1935 under Reserve Bank of India Act 1934. Okay, it was a statutory body. Reserve Bank of India is an independent authority for conducting monetary policy, yes, in the best interest of the economy, yes. So, the monetary policy which is released by the RBI, correct statement. Uh, RBI is called as a bankers to the government, yes, because at times print money in case of budgetary deficit, yes, okay. Actually, both the statements are correct, but they are asking which of the statement given above is incorrect, okay. Actually, UPSC may ask this kind of question, sir also so they asking incorrect so actually both the statement of correct so answer is maybe neither one nor two all right so answer d see apart from bankers to the commercial bank rb will, will act as the some other functions also uh, even banking uh, bankers to the government of india is also state government and he uh, the rb able to print money uh, in case of deficit situations and uh, however the most important role of rb is controller of money supply Okay, then the function will call us the credit control. Credit control. Okay, this is the main important function of RBI. So, through control of money supply, India's inflation to be controlled. Inflation. Okay, so RB is an independent authority conducting monetary policy best of interest. Yes. So, this is the uh, some, lines, some facts regarding RBI. Go to the next question. Consider the following statements with respect to national income. Okay, see national income. National income is nothing but country's income earned by in rough, in a particular year. Example from 2019 April 1 to 2020 March 31st. This is the one year. Okay, one financial year. So from one financial year, how much amount government may get? That is national income. It may be calculated under different ways like GDP, GNP, NDP, NNP and etc. Right? So, anyhow, national income measures the flow of goods and services in an economy. Yes, flow is very important. Right? So, national income measures the productive power of an economy in a given period to convert commodities for final consumption. Yes, it is also a correct statement. National income measures the stock of commodities. The stock is not answer. Okay. See, when we uh, say about the talk, stock, stock is nothing but national output. National output. See, national output is completely different from national income. All productions are not the income of the country. Okay, all production which may be converted into the finished uh, consumer goods that may be called as the income of the government. Okay, so the stock of the commodities when we talking about is called as national output. So third statement is a wrong statement. Which of the above statement is are correct? So first statement is a correct statement. Answer is B, one and two only. Third statement is a wrong statement. So national income measures the net value of goods and services produced in a country during a year. It includes net earned foreign income also, right? 
See, national income is a flow, not a stock. The stock which means national output. Okay, as contrast with the national wealth, which measures the stock of commodities. Okay, especially we use the word national wealth. Okay, so when we are going to calculate national wealth, we count how many stocks in India, stock of commodities, right? So this is the answer for this question. Next, which of the following statement is our true regarding poverty line? See, poverty is the single most fundamental issues in India. Since independence, uh, in India, most number of people in the poverty line. Okay. See, the poverty line was fixed by the government or some committees. The government formed some committees. Okay. In calculating of poverty, our government will appoint various committee. So, like uh, uh, OIV Alec Committee, Lagdawala Committee, and then uh, um, C, uh, sorry, Vijay Kelkar Committee, uh, sorry, Suresh Tendulkar Committee, and then C. Rangarajan Committee. These are all the four important committee. So, for OIV Alec Committee, Lagdawala Committee, Suresh Tendulkar Committee, C. Rangarajan Committee. Actually, Suresh Tendulkar Committee is formed in the year of 2005. So, this is the first committee to, to change the calculation of poverty from calorie based uh, to calorie based from uh, income based. Okay. So, anyhow, so let me see the questions. So, the poverty line changes from region to region but is constant with the time. No, it's not a constant, right? Okay. It may change from region to region but also change from time to time. Okay. So, if, since independence, the poverty line may be uh, 10 rupees or 12 rupees. Now, it is maybe go around 40 rupees, 50 rupees, right? So, surveys for the poverty line estimation are the task of central statistical organization. No, the survey for estimation is uh, NSSO. Once the NSSO collected data and the data transferred to the CSO, final compilation only under the ambit of CSO. So, estimation, uh, survey of estimation under, coming under the topic of uh, NSSO. Calorie requirements for urban areas is kept high compared to rural areas. No. Calories. So, when we talk about calories, the calories is uh, high in rural areas. See, according to the Lagdawala committee, Lagdawala committee, the rural people who are having 2400 calories per day, they may be called as above poverty line. In urban people, 2100 calories per day. Okay, so because rural area will have a very hard job, right, comparing to the urban area. So, a rural area will have more calories comparing to urban area. So, based on the above discussions, so the select the correct state answer from given goods. See, answer is uh, uh, all the three statements are wrong, right? So, answer is C. So, forward line change from region to region and also from time to time, yes. And survey for poverty line estimation is task of NSSO, right? And color requirement for urban area is kept low compared to the rural area, right? So, anyhow, we'll go into the next. So, question number 37. Women Transforming India Awards was given by every year by. Actually, Transforming India Awards, uh, which is uh, given by Niti Ayog. Okay. So, it, uh, it was given in the uh, day of uh, March 8th. So, Women's Day, right? So, anyhow, let me see some more facts regarding that. So, Niti Ayog, Women Entrepreneurship Platform organizing the fourth edition of Women Transforming India Awards in 2019 on International Women's Day, March 8th, right? So, um, in this occasion, Women, women Entrepreneurship uh, Platform also completed two years since its inception, right? Since 2019, Women Transforming India Awards have been uh, hosted under the ages of Women Entrepreneurship platform of theme of women and entrepreneurship okay so this is the very important for your prelims examination go to the next question consider the following statements with respect to the national handicapped uh, finance development corporation actually this corporation coming under the ministry of social justice and the empowerment okay so first statement it is registered as a non-for-profit non company and provide financial assistance to the person with the disabilities. Yes, sir. See, disabilities may be called as Divyang. D-I-V-Y-A-N-G-E. Okay, Divyang. 
it is apex corporation under the aegis of ministry of finance no it is not ministry of finance it is under the ministry of social justice and empowerment okay so the answer is one only is a correct statement so 38a national handicapped finance development corporation recently organized the uh, long exhibition come fair fest ecom see ecom is nothing but entrepreneurship knowledge awareness marketing okay the word is explanation abbreviation is entrepreneurship knowledge awareness marketing and also represents the inclusiveness oneness uh, unity and appropriate describe the efforts being put forward by the national handicap uh, finance development corporation on marketing platform aggregation of the product okay right so the national handicap finance development corporation it is the apex corporation under the aegis of department of empowerment of person with disabilities under the ministry of uh, social justice and empowerment so it started in the year of 1997 right so it is a registered non for profit company and provide financial assistance to the divyang divyang is nothing but person with disabilities right so to empower divyang marginalized groups of society more closely so uh, they established the foundation Okay, this year the, uh, the National Handicap Finance Development Corporation Assembly Foundation. See, uh, uh, in the options of the connect uh, market hand free uh, prices, the young entrepreneurship, uh, the young foundation marketing, uh, making efforts for the development of the bread, uh, brand and platform for marketing products uh, of these determined entrepreneurs okay see actually these are all uh, very important for the divyang communities because they are very vulnerable so this organization will develop their uh, uh, finance uh, strength as well as their uh, social living okay so go to the next question this year the year 2019 marked golden jubilee 50 years okay which even as per the economic survey 2020 actually in economic survey 2019-20 the economic survey which was prepared by chief economic advisor which is uh, released the one day before the budget was introduced so they marked it golden jubilee for banking nationalization see bank nationalization 2019 is the 50th nationalization of banks so when it was uh, nationalized 1969 okay during the period of indira gandhi See, under uh, in 1969, 14 banks nationalized. Okay, so the criteria for 14 banks is one is uh, the bank which is uh, having more than 50 crores of capital. Okay, so at, at the time, the 14 banks will have more than 50 crores of capital. So the government uh, uh, go into the action of uh, nationalization. See, nationalization is nothing but. Uh, uh the government shares more than 50 percentage okay the government holding the particular bank share is more than 50 percentage which is called as nationalization okay so 1969 which is called as first round of nationalization so 14 banks and the second round of nationalization is 1986 banks to be nationalized right so from 1969 to 19 uh, 2019 so this is a 50 year okay so bank nationalization so answer c 2019 is a golden jubilee year for bank nationalization right so anyhow the last question what is the projected growth rate for agriculture in fiscal year 2019-20 see actually uh, in economic survey 2019-20 our projected gdp growth rate for overall is five percentage then the budget projected 2020-21 growth rate is 6 to 6.5 percentage but unfortunately there was a global pandemic and uh, some unforeseen situation so our uh, gdp growth might be expected less than 2 percentage okay by world bank and other organization anyhow out of this 5 percentage the uh, primary sector that is agriculture contribution is around 2.8 percentage right so the answer is uh, 2.8 percentage okay the economic survey 2020 has projected agriculture and allied sector grow is 2.8 percentage actually there will be a scheme uh, pro, uh, national mission on agriculture and uh, all those things last year krishi vigas yojana the scheme the objective is the overall increase in the agriculture growth rate of 4 percentage but in from since 2005 up to 2020 still we are not achieving the growth rate of 4 percentage 
in agriculture sector so most of the people depends on agriculture sector they are very vulnerable they are not able to generate income comparing to the other two sectors in india up right now more than 50% of the people directly or indirectly depends on agriculture sector so anyhow thank you